how to type along a vector path that you draw in Adobe Illustrator. First of all, I'm going to open up the cartoon that I saved earlier in Illustrator. You start out by drawing the vector path with the pencil tool. You click the type tool and you click uh, on the vector beginning of the vector path and that will attach the uh, type to that vector path and then you select your font select the font size and you just begin typing once you're in the type tool the word paragraph will appear in the upper right hand corner if you click on that it'll allow you to align the text to the left the right or the center on the upper left corner of the toolbar on the left, you'll see a little uh, see-through arrow. That's the selection tool. If you select the text, you can uh, pull out that box and transform it, manipulate it, um, even warp it, rotate it, um, in order to make it align with the uh, cat or whatever image you have there. Let's see that again. I'm going to make sure I draw my line from left to right. If I draw it the wrong way, it will uh, end up upside down. So left to right, I click the type tool. I click the type tool on the vector path and I just begin to type. Once I've done that, I can uh, click the little triangle on the upper left hand corner of the toolbar. And that is the selection tool. And that will select the type layer and then I can transform it and adjust it. So as you can see I'm clicking on the two different type layers, uh, selecting them, adjusting them, transforming them, rotating them, and then I'm also clicking on the cat and doing the same thing. Adjusting the size, warping it, um, transforming it until all three elements of my design look like they go together. Then I'm going to save it as a um, Illustrator file and I will be able to actually open it up in Photoshop and further manipulate it there. Hidden underneath the type tool is another tool called the type on a path tool and we're going to use that if we would like to make a logo or a sign using a circular shape. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now as soon as I save this design, I'm going to uh, create another design where the lettering is um, based around a circular shape. Here's the design that I'm going to create. As you can see that I've got two circular shapes here, one for the ball of yarn. Now I'm going to open the ball of yarn in um, an Illustrator. I'm going to select all and um, then I'm going to create a circular shape by clicking on the elliptical uh, marquee and holding down the Alt and the Shift button in order to pull out a circle. As you can see, the circle is opaque and it's covering over the ball of yarn. So up on the top, there's the uh, opacity. I'm just going to slide that to zero. And then I'm going to find the um, text on a path button and click on the edge of the circle and that will enable me to um, create type that follows the edge of the circle. Once I've done that, I can click on the little triangle at the top and manipulate the shape. I can save it as an Adobe Illustrator file and then reopen it in Photoshop. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm using the puppet warp on the cat to change the shape of the cat so it looks better within a circular design. I'm changing the direction of the cat's tail and a few other details kind of make the body look a little bit more compressed. Now I'm opening up the, uh, the ball of yarn. I'm selecting just the black color. I am transforming it and changing the size. I'm making it a little darker by going image adjustment curves and playing around with that um, and the saturation so that it looks dark enough to go with the other image. I'm adjusting these two images and then I'm going to save them 
as a Photoshop file and open them up in Adobe Illustrator again. Um, and then I'm going to draw another circle, change the opacity to zero, um, and then click on the text along a path or type along a path tool, click it to the circle. And then once I'm done typing, I can uh, select it using the little arrow tool and then manipulate it. And as you can see, I should be able now to open it in Photoshop and play around with the with the uh, contrast, the curves, and a few other details to get it to look just the way I want in Photoshop. Um, if you manipulate the image in Photoshop, um, what you do is just save it as an Adobe Illustrator file and you can open it in Photoshop and it'll function completely as a Photoshop file. So right now I'm selecting the text by using the lasso and I'm distorting it, playing around with it. Um, because the Photoshop file is 300 pixels per square inch, I'm not losing a lot of detail or resolution. And that is how you do it. Arranging text along a path is an invaluable tool for illustrators and graphic designers. This is Rachel Winnenberg, the helpful art teacher, showing you how to type text along a path in Adobe Illustrator. If you like this video, please click like and share.